क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इन द एबो डायग्राम अ स्ट्रॉन्ग बार मैग्नेट इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स सोलेनॉइड टू फ्रॉम सोलेनॉइड वन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इंड्यूस्ड करंट इन सोलेनॉइड वन एंड दैट इन सोलेनॉइड टू रिस्पेक्टिवली सो हियर वी यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव टू सोलेनॉइड दिस इज सोलेनॉइड वन दिस इज सोलेनॉइड टू एंड अ बार मैग्नेट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम सोलेनॉइड वन टू सोलेनॉइड टू देन इन दैट केस वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इंड्यूस्ड करंट इन बोथ द सोलेनॉइड रिमेंबर वेन एवर दिस magnet is going away from the loop the magnetic field decreases so this loop will try to maintain the magnetic field so it will try to attract this one right so whenever the magnetic field is going away or whenever the magnet is going away the loop will try to bring it back and whenever the magnet is going towards the loop the loop will try to stop it or oppose it that is the loop doesn't like change in magnetic flux that's why right this you will learn in maybe you have learned in electromagnetic inductions so for the first loop for the first loop what you can see here is the north pole is going away from the first loop so as the north pole is going away from the first loop to attract this north pole it will create a south pole now what will be the direction of current to create a south pole that we can learn from this right hand grip rule right or maxwell's grip rule so if you hold the uh, uh, this solenoid uh, with your hand right hand like this right and such that the curl of your fingers point in the direction of the current then the direction in which the thumb is pointing is north and the other is south okay so for the first case here the north pole is going away and you need to create a south pole here so what should be the direction of the current so here you can see i have hold this uh, solenoid such that this uh, thumb of right hand is pointing towards left because i want south pole here so the direction of the current will be upward on the side which we are observing right now right it is a very easy explanation okay so here i have labeled the direction of the current so here the current is going from a right then here it is going on the other side again coming back right going other side similarly here the current is coming from actually a going towards other side and then from the other side is coming out of this point b so the direction of the induced current in solenoid 1 is from a to b and if we try to think about the second solenoid then what is happening in the second solenoid the south pole is coming towards it right so the loop will try to oppose that change in flux by creating a south pole here now to create a south pole here the direction of the current should be here clockwise and on the other side it should be anti clockwise so for that one here you can see here in that case if i want to create a south pole this side then in that case i have to hold my uh, fingers uh, hold this uh, solenoid such a way that the right hand the thumb of right hand is pointing towards this side right such that uh, the uh, right side north will generate and towards left side the south pole will generate and for that the direction of the current will be downward on the side which facing towards us so the direction of the current will be like this okay so in that case the current is see here it is coming through the d right and going on the other side then from here on the front side again going other side then again coming out on the front side then going other side coming on the front side and similarly it will enter the c point here it means the direction of current is from d to c so which option is from a b and d c it is a to b and d to c so option number 1 is the correct answer